Nearly 15,000 attendees from 150 countries are attending the Worldwide Exhibition for Incentive Travel, Meetings and Events. KSCC is just one of the 3,500 exhibitors among a small club of African participants. So we are looking at renovating our meeting rooms, um, creating new new incentives or new new revenue streams and also new products. Kenya is well known. I mean, we have a building that has been there since the 70s. Um, the capacity needs to grow. Uh, We're working on that. Um, and we also probably need to set up another convention center. Business tourism contributed 127.8 billion shillings to the gross domestic product of Kenya in 2015, according to the World Travel and Tourism Council. That's expected to grow as the country aggressively promotes itself as a preferred destination for meetings, incentives, conventions and events, MICE. We've got a new sheriff in town, so everything is getting checked. Is, um, and it's, you know, I'm also happy to even report that we're probably now 85 to 90 percent uh, corruption free. And that's been in a turnaround of a year. Several high profile international events hosted in Kenya recently have lifted the country's global profile in the sector. But sustaining the momentum requires more promotion at events such as this, where nearly 4,000 meetings organizers are looking around. You're talking about uh, in the convention market, uh, perhaps international associations bringing in their, um, their annual conference, their annual convention maybe for 2,000 people, 10,000 people, 30,000 people. Mm -hmm. So the um, direct economics of uh, benefits of that are huge. Mm -hmm. The infrastructure that you need for that um, is very significant and that benefits the whole population all year round as well. The Kenyatta International Convention Centre, or KSCC, is Kenya's best known meeting venue. It has been around for 40 years and there's now strong competition coming from newer venues and destinations that are spending a lot in their marketing budget, such as Rwanda, which is increasing its presence here, but the best known and by far the most popular in terms of hosting meetings is South Africa. And they are out here in full swing. Larry, Nadeau, NTV in Frankfurt, Germany.